on christmas eve in 1818 father joseph moore sat in his study preparing for the special christmas service he opened his bible to prepare his sermon and read about that special night when an extraordinary baby was born to ordinary parents in a little manger just as he had finished reading the story a peasant woman came to call him to bless a little baby that had been born to some peasants father moore was taken by surprise surely it could not be a coincidence that he received news of this baby just when he was reading about the birth of christ when father moore reached the hut of the peasants he saw the young mother cradling her infant lovingly on his way back home father moore kept replaying the events of the evening in his mind all around him preparations were underway for the midnight mass as the village celebrated the birth of christ later that night Father Moore decided to write down his experience in his diary. As he started writing, the words seemed to have a will of their own. When he finally stopped, Father Moore found that he had composed a poem. The next morning, on Christmas Day, the music teacher of the village school, Franz Saver Gruber, came to visit Father Moore. When he read the poem, he took out his guitar and composed a tune to match the words. The poem thus transformed into a lovely song. Father Moore and Franz Gruber decided to sing the song at church. They sang to the accompaniment of Franz Gruber's guitar as the church organ was out of order. The congregation at the church loved the new song. A few days later, an organ builder from another village came to repair the church organ. When Franz Gruber began to play the new song to check the tune, the organ builder stood rapt with awe. The organ builder gathered the children of his village and taught them the song. They called it Song from Heaven, and soon it became popular in several neighboring villages as well. In time, the song reached the lips of the most wonderful singers, the Strasser children of Zillertal Valley. Everyone agreed that the children, Caroline, Joseph, Andreas, and Emily, sang like angels. Their parents were glove makers. Every year in spring, the family traveled to Leipzig to sell their wares at the annual trade fair. Leipzig was a large busy city and the children often felt lost and uncomfortable in the crowded place. That year, when they were feeling particularly homesick, the children stood in a corner of the street and started singing to uplift their spirits. They chose their favorite song, Song from Heaven. Soon, people stopped and gathered around the children, mesmerized by the melodious voices and the beautiful words. One elderly man in particular observed the children keenly. When they had finished, he walked up to them and introduced himself as the Director General of Music in the Kingdom of Saxony. He invited the children to sing at their concert in the evening. That evening, the Strassers walked into a grand auditorium, filled with well-dressed gentlemen and ladies in fine gowns. When the turn came, they began singing Song from Heaven, and when they had finished, one could have heard a pin drop. The stunned audience took a moment to recover from the spell of the song before they burst into a thunderous applause. Everyone got on their feet, giving the astonished children a standing ovation. Just then, a uniformed man walked up to the children with a message. The king and queen of Saxony wished to speak to them. The king invited the children to sing the song at the special Christmas service in the palace. This is how, in the Christmas of 1832, the song travelled to the Royal Saxon Court Chapel and enchanted the entire congregation. From there on, the song travelled around the world, capturing the hearts of people wherever it went. Even through the pain and despair of World War I, Song from Heaven spread its magic. The song continues to spread its joy and peace, even today. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round your virgin, mother and child, holy infant, so tender and mild. Sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace.